Um, I really like them. Well, very well on the last exam. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> I hate exes. This is the example copy our teacher gave us. Quick tips on what I did to finally turn around my exam grades. I am currently working on practicing for my head to toe. Hey guys, I feel like I haven't talked to you in a long time, probably because I haven't, but I started off this week with my last study session before my test, and I ended up doing very well on this test, and I'll share more about that in the video, but the actual school week started off with a sim, an on-campus sim, and we were learning about different critical care machines, ICU, um like intubators ventilators and so that was really cool and then the next day was clinical day uh, hey guys i feel like i haven't talked to y'all in so long so today is november the 7th i'm currently at clinicals at the icu um hospital and Y'all, I don't know why, but it always ends up like this. Whatever I'm learning in lecture, I literally get a patient with those exact, with like that exact synopsis and diagnosis. Every time, I kid you not. Like last um, unit, we were learning about ventilations and like um, <clears throat> respiratory problems having to get intubated. Literally, my patient had every single one of those things. Today, or yesterday, we we're starting to learn about like headaches, seizures, a lot of things dealing with the brain. Literally, my patient today had to have brain surgery, or like head surgery, to remove a cephalohematoma. Today, I am at clinicals. I finished everything, like I finished both of my care plans for clinicals. And the last thing that I have for my clinical is one more EKG and my head to toe. And I'm hoping I can get both of those done today, but I know for sure I'm gonna get my head to toe done, which is, you know, you do your head to toe assessment, you assess the neural status, cardiovascular, respiratory, um, extremities, everything. I'm studying for it right now, and then I'm gonna call my clinical teacher up to come watch me do a head to toe my patient. On the other hand, for the EKG, I'm going to, try to find a VTAC because on my last EKG I did atrial fibrillation and we can't do the same type of electrocardiogram so yeah I'm going to try to find a VTAC on this ICU floor or on the other ICU floor and if not my clinical teacher did say that she will find one for me that I can do my EKG over. I'm going to go finish practicing from my head to toe and I will let you guys know how it goes. This is the physical assessment rubric. Have to go over introduction, neuro, cardio, respiratory, GI and GU, extremity. Hello, my name is Amnesia. I'm gonna be your student nurse for today. Can I get your name and date of birth? Okay, awesome. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a head to toe. Basically just seeing the overall getting a good idea of what's going on with your physical. Okay guys, so today is Wednesday and we have a on-campus sim and I am the patient. So I think they're literally gonna carry me on a stretcher. <laughs> guys. <laughs> <laughs> Before I go, this is actually a really cute thing. You're kind of fast. I know. She's <laughs> Look at my lash text. Little lash room is so cute. Hey guys, I'm Alicia. So today.
today is Thursday. I don't have any school, I don't have any clinical. And so it's basically like a completely lazy day. I'm at my sister's. Um, well, I'm not gonna say a lazy day because this morning I woke up at 5 a.m., went to the gym, got in a good glute workout, lower body workout, and then I went to go get my lashes done. My lash appointment, I didn't realize how early I booked it. I literally booked it for 8 a.m. That's why I woke up so early to go to the gym. So I went to the gym at 5, was at my lash appointment at 8, slept the entire two hours near my lash appointment. Um, I really like them. They're cute. My lash girly, she does good, so good every time. But right now I'm at my sister's. Um, and this is why I call it a lazy day, because every time I come to my sister's, we really just like to chill, lay down. And my sister, she's also in school. She's earning her master's in nursing right now. And so we literally would just lay down in bed. And all you're hearing is the keyboard just typing, because we're both just doing our work. But she's laying down, and I'm going to get some schoolwork done. We have a AI assignment to do, which is like, we have to make a care plan, but in reality, we're not really making the care plan. We are letting a AI, like um, an AI browser make it for us. And then we evaluate how well the AI, you know, the AI care plan did. Um, so that's the project that I'm working on today. It's not due for another two or three days, but I want to turn it in tonight just so that can be out of my brain. And, um, I think that's the, really the only assignment I need to get done this weekend for school. And so I have the rest of the weekend, it's only Thursday, I have the rest of this week to just study. And I'm gonna study what we got lectured on, what we got lectured on this week, which we only had one lecture day this week. Usually we have Monday and Wednesday, but our Wednesday was used as a sim day. And I have a little bit of a film from the sim day on Wednesday. I was the patient and I was going through um, VTAC. So basically my heart was just like beeping like at 180 beats per minute. I had to act like someone who was having ventricular tachycardia. That was fun. But I'm gonna do that AI assignment and then I'm going to study because we have our next exam. Oh, and guys, I wanna give y'all an update on how I did on the last exam. So I did pretty well, very well on the last exam. So those first two exams of this semester wasn't my best take, but I was still very confident because I was like, okay, I'm not doing good, but I'm not doing horrible on the first two exams. And the first two exams were mostly maternity. OB is very difficult for me to understand, which is why I am going to schedule like I guess you could call it a tutoring session or just schedule a little talk with my OB teacher so that we can go over some of the concepts for OB and so that I can get those concepts really locked into my head because I really just need to have a better understanding of what I'm reading about OB so that when I go to do the final at the beginning of December, I do well on that portion of the final. But now, since we're on to the intensive care, concepts of for this semester were like ventilators incubation you know chest tubes all those things that icu nurses have to do i did really good on it and i'm so happy because that just boosted my confidence and ever since then honestly like i just feel like i've been doing really well on all the other assignments you know it's almost like you do bad and then you kind of have like a domino effect of doing bad but then once you do that one big turnaround of doing really good on like a big assignment it just changes the whole directory for you. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah, guys, I think that's all the updating I'm gonna do right now. I'm about to go get in bed with my sister and finish this AI project and then do some studying. And then we're going on a long trail this evening. It gets dark very early, like at five. So we're gonna go to four and we're probably gonna end up walking in the dark, but we're gonna be together, so. Okay guys, about to start on this AI assignment. <clears throat> so basically, this is the example copy our teacher gave us. We type in, you know, in our own words what the AI generator gave us for the care plan. And then over here, we evaluate it and we're like, okay, they did okay with 
you know, letting us know the correct priority assessment that we should be doing for the certain disease process. However, they didn't include blah, 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 blah. So that's how this project's gonna go. And we gotta do it for two different, a care plan for two different disease processes. So yeah, I'm about to get to work on this. It's not due for another two to three days, but I just wanna get it done with and turned in by tonight. Hey y'all, so I just got out of class. Today is Monday. Um, I think this video is going to be like a reset video for me because it's the end of the semester and I feel like most students go through this. I know for sure nursing students just being around my classmates. Everybody is tired right now. Everybody is just like anxiously pushing through the semester and waiting to complete it successfully. And right now, I just feel like I need a complete reset, a reset with everything because I just feel really disorganized right now. I feel a little bit like just unfocused right now. It may have something to do with the time change. It gets dark at 5 p.m., 5.30, but whatever it is, I need to do a reset and get my routine back in order so yeah i'm about to head to the gym and i will see you guys there Hey y'all, so I just got out the gym. I did some cardio and some upper body today. I feel so good. Working out literally is medicine. And anytime I wanna skip the gym or I don't wanna go, I'm just gonna remind myself of this feeling. Like all the anxiety I had, all of the like low moodiness I had is literally gone just from that hour and a half workout. Working out is medicine. Now I am about to go home, get all cleaned up, and I have a lot more things to do, so. I cleaned myself, got all cleaned up, and I also did my makeup. Y'all, I never do my makeup, and I don't know, like, none of the women in my family, we have, I've never seen, like, a woman in my family just wear, like, a full face of makeup on, a, like, a continuous basis. Maybe, like, for, like, a funeral or for, like, an event, but I'm no woman in my family wears makeup, and so 
I have just never worn makeup for the whole 21 years of me being alive, but really like natural skin. Like I like the way skin looks, but I love the way makeup feels. Like I love the way I feel when I wear makeup. I don't know, I just feel girlier. I feel like I put time into myself to get ready, which I did. And so it's just fun. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna start trying to, you know, wear more makeup, practice doing it, get better at it. Anyways, so I did all the cleaning. I cleaned my room. I um, did some laundry because y'all, I needed to do laundry so bad. I hadn't done laundry in two weeks. And so I, I had so many clothes to wash. Um, and you know, I went to the gym earlier. And also before leaving out the house just now, I cleaned out my refrigerator just so that I can know what groceries I need to get because that's where I'm on my way to now. It's time to go grocery shopping. I get, okay, I order a matcha latte and smoothies several times a week. I order smoothies from Drama Juice several times a week and I'll order a matcha latte either from Starbucks or this one coffee shop. It's called like Minuti Coffee and it's an Italian coffee place. Matcha lattes are so good and I need to stop ordering so many matcha lattes every week and instead I just need to make it myself. So that's what I'm going to the grocery store for. That's my main thing is to get matcha powder, you know, stuff to make the matcha latte and also to get stuff to make my smoothie so that I can stop having an excuse to go out and buy you know my 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 latte and my smoothie when i should be making it myself and so um i want to do like a quick update about nursing school so the first okay so the first half of nursing school for this semester was i'm not gonna say that i was stressed out because i honestly was not stressed out but i was not doing how i wanted to do i was not you know, I was not making the grades that I wanted to the first semester, and it was really just exam grades. Those first two exams of the semester, I made on both the exam. And when it got to that third exam, I was like, Anasia, I, we're like, I'm not making it on another exam. And partially, I had this confidence because the first two exams, it was all OB, it was all maternity, and I had never seen any maternity information or I knew nothing about maternity until I started learning it for this semester. And so not only was I determined to stop making those my exams, but I also genuinely like critical care a lot more than OB in psych, which was what was mostly on our first two exams. I'm so thankful because on my third exam, I was able to make it. I was so happy when I saw that grade. And I, you know when you're taking the test, you're just like, like you're just going through it. Like you're not second guessing yourself. You're not changing any answers. You're just going through it. And actually y'all, I don't know if y'all's tests do this, but we do not have a back button anymore. Our school is really trying to prepare us for the NCLEX and we can't even go back on our tests. So even with that, if I were to choose an answer and I'm still like reading it, I didn't allow myself to change it unless I just really thought that I was like, okay, no, I read this wrong. Like this is the right answer. Basically now in the semester, I have three and a half weeks left of my third semester and I really just wanna focus in and I wanna prove to myself that I can do better than I have, than I've already have. And I just wanna do, I just wanna end off the semester like, wow. Like I just wanna end off the semester. That's all I wanna be able to say is like, wow. Like, wow, you really did it. And that's what I wanna be able to tell myself. That's my only goal. Um, it's just to end off the semester very successfully and be proud of myself.
Okay, and before I start filling out my calendar, I quickly want to go over some quick tips on what I did to finally turn around my exam grades. Because like I mentioned, guys, on those first two exams, I made on the first two exam. And then on my third exam, which was my first critical care exam, I made it. And so I'm really proud of myself. I did really well on the last exam. And I'm going to use the same like studying technique that I used for the last exam for my fourth exam and then review all the content that we went over this semester for the final exam because we only have two more exams for the rest of the semester so that's why i'm really tackling down really focusing down on everything that i need to do to make sure that i end the semester very well but anyways so the tips that i want to give y'all is put it plain and simple is repetition repetition is what really helps but specifically repeating and reviewing the work in a specific pattern like for me what worked for me is i would basically break down the content and i would break it down in whatever made sense like i would break it down in specific portions whatever makes sense and just to give you an example let's say we're going by chapters let's say there's nine chapters in this next exam so i'm going to take the first three chapters and i'm going to study it over two days after i study that on that third day, I'm going to review all of the content that I've been studying for the past three days. Now I'm going to um, go to a new set of three and study um, the next three chapters for the next two days. On that third day, I'm going to review everything that I studied over the past two days. Now I'm going to go back to that first set of three and I'm going to review that. Let's say I'm going to use a whole day to review that. Okay. Now, I've already seen this content before. Now I'm reviewing it and I'm, I'm kind of like remembering it. Okay, let me go to that second. Um, let me go to that second like triplet of uh, chapters and I'm going to review that. Um, I'm, I remember, you know, reviewing it a few days ago. I remember seeing it. It's kind of getting in my head. Okay, I still have three more chapters. So I'm going to start reviewing these last three sets of chapters. I'm going to review that three sets of chapters. Okay, uh, I'm going to review those three sets of chapters that I just reviewed. Now, after reviewing the sets like that, I'm going to go all the way to the beginning and I'm going to take a whole day or, you know, whatever works, just depending on how much content it is. I'm going to take however much time I need to review that first set again. Now I'm going to review the second set again. Now I'm going to review the third set again. Okay, now I'm going to repeat that and I'm going to go back to the first set, review the first set. Okay, let me go to the third set because I... I'm doing really good on the second set. I can basically remember it off the top of my head. I'm going to third set review. Okay, the first set, I really got it down, but let me go back to this third set. And that's basically how I would say that I turned around my studying habits is being very organized and very specific with what I was going to study and making sure that every time I studied a bulk of information, I always went back after studying another bulk of information, I always went back before starting something new to what I did prior so that I can make sure that I'm repeating it in my head and I can make sure and go back and be like, okay, I remember this information, but I still need to review this part. And so I hope you guys, <laughs> I hope I'm not just rambling and I hope y'all understand what I'm saying, but yeah, that's basically what I did on this last exam that really helped me turn around my exam grade. But now I'm gonna get started with, you know, planning out the rest of the month and planning out the rest of the semester. Like I also put like due dates and different assignments in here as well. And I also like to put it on the big board so that when I'm waking up or when I'm coming into my room, I can see it. And so this is October and you can see how crazy October was. Um, and now we're in November. Now, what you don't understand and what's surprising is that November is a lot scarier, a lot more scarier than October because there's no busy work. This is just straight exams and you got to do good on them. You don't get any, you know, little assignments that you can get in and get like, quick A's on them. No, this is all exams and all clinical days. That's why November doesn't really have that much. I'm going to fill out my clinical days. I'm going to fill out my exam days. And then I'm going to go in and put in my study schedule. Okay, I'm gonna talk 
talk to you guys later. Okay, and really quickly, guys, also keep in mind that exam four is on November 29th, and then our final exam is five days later on December 5th. And so it is very important for me to do as much compact studying as I can to make sure that I'm getting all the information in and also um, to make sure that I give myself that time between the fourth exam and the final exam time to review all of the units and thankfully these last two units I think I'm going to be pretty competent to only have to look over them you know really quickly and then I'm going to really have to go through those first two units um, so that's going to be really the only thing that I'm going to have to do is thoroughly go through the first two units and then look over these last two units that I just did. So I just want to tell you guys that because those exams, exam four and final exam, they really do run into each other. And so that's why being very organized and planning my studying days is very important right now because it's getting to that point of the year where you have to be on top of things or you're not going to be on top of you. <laughs> But okay guys, I'm about to study and I will talk to y'all later.